One of the treatments I perform here is chemical peels. We can use chemical peels to treat a variety of different skin um, conditions and skin types. Some of the most common things we treat are acne, sun damage, any kind of premature aging, but we can also use them to treat things like melasma, um, rosacea, any kind of dry or dull skin. It's a great treatment for almost anybody. How it works is we use a different variety of different acids and chemical solutions to break down the dead skin cells that are on top of your skin. And that allows those to be kind of exfoliated away and then it reveals fresher, younger, healthier skin underneath. So before the treatment, I like most of my patients to be on some kind of lightener or retinol to help prep the skin. A week before, I want everyone to discontinue any topical prescriptions, any um, AHAs, BHAs, retinols, things like that, or and to avoid any other facial procedures one week before. Now, during the treatment, it's really pretty easy. You come in, I'll apply the solutions to your skin in layers. Each layer might feel a little warm, tingling, itching, depending on the solution that we're using. Um, everyone experiences that a little bit differently, but it's, they're all very tolerable. Um, and then after the treatment, we will talk about what products I want you to use and what products I want you to avoid at home. But in general, I really just want you to baby your skin. So gentle cleanser, moisturizer, sunscreen, you can keep it basic at home. The peeling process itself lasts anywhere from about five to seven days. It's um, the first one to two days, your skin is just dry and a little tight, maybe a little pink. Um, the actual peeling starts on day three and it starts around your mouth and then it works its way out. So during that time, it's really important that you are protecting the skin underneath by using a sunscreen. I also want you to avoid as much sun exposure as possible um, and any exercise or excessive heat. It's also really important that time, and this is the hard thing, to not pick or peel or scratch the skin that is being exfoliated. Just let it come off naturally, and go through its natural processes. Um, some people actually don't even peel, and not all chemical peels produce the peeling, so that's not really the goal, but it's more of a um, expected side effect.